everybody and welcome. Today's project is going to be a Christmas themed adjustable collar and I will be using a Biothene adapter for it. For this particular project I am doing something a little bit different. I am using a three-fourths of an inch um, o-rings for my double cows hitch hookup. If you're not familiar with how to do the double cows hitch or to hook it up to your jig, I will have a link below to a video that I made um, teaching you how to do all of that. I do show you how to do the double cows hitch on a square ring, but it's exactly the same way as you would do it for the o-rings. Um, So again, there'll be a, uh, a link to a video below if you guys are interested in um, doing that. So for this project, what you're going to need um, for this particular collar, like I said, three-fourths of an inch, two O-rings, one for each side. And then um, for the double cow's hitch, you will be using um, the Christmas lights 550 peri cord, and you're also going to need a second strand of that cord. So you have two of the um, Christmas lights uh, 550 peri cord. I'm also going to be using a strand of Imperial Red, and that is also 550 peri cord. And then I have two. Kelly Green 275 cords. Unfortunately, I have misplaced my pericord uh, needle and I honestly have no idea where it could have gone. So I'm going to not use one today. The first cord that I'm going to be starting with is the Imperial Red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be loosening up these two cow's hitches and I am going to slip my cord through both of those cow's hitches and I just found my pericord needle. Haha, <laughs> lucky me. It's right in front of me. Oh boy. So with my pericord needle, I am going to slip my uh, cord through these two cow's hitches. Now, like I was going to do earlier, I didn't I thought I misplaced it. You can push your cord through and you just want to go right through those two cow's hitches and bring it to the other side and to the middle of the cord. So next I'm going to add my Kelly Green cords and I'm actually um, I'm going to try and feed them through together but I think I'm going to have a hard time with that. So I'm going to go through um, the same way I just did with the Imperial Red. I'm just going to go th from one side to another. Right through those two cow's hitches and also take that one to the other side and to the middle. Next you're going to take your other Kelly Green and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go um, right through those two cow hitches, bring it to the other side and to the middle of the cord. And then the last cord is going to be the Christmas lights and what you're going to do here is you're going to go in between one cow, that first cow hitch on your right side, you're going to go right in between that cow hitch, you're going to go underneath these two stitches and come up the middle of the other cow hitch on the left side, bring that to the other side and to the middle of the cord. Once you have all of your cords through and at the top of your work, you can roll up your ends. It does make it a little bit easier to work with, but be aware that you're working with multiple colors, so um, just be aware of which ones you're grabbing. I usually like to roll up, if I have multiple of the same cord, I like to roll them up in um, different sizes, but the green ones, I actually, they're rolled up the same, so I'm 
I just need to be careful. So to start this project off, I'm going to be starting off on my right side with the Christmas lights and it's the one that is coming right out of the cow's hitch. So I'm going to start with my right cord and what I'm going to want to do here is I'm just going to go underneath this first elongated cord that is on my right, right up the middle and then over that second cord which is on my left. So basically what I'm doing is just going right underneath and up the middle and then over to my left. Take the one on the left now and go underneath the cord that you just worked. So you're going to bring that underneath. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go underneath the first cord, which is now on your right, sorry, your left side. You're going to go right up the middle and then over that second cord that is on your right. And then you have like, if you pull it, you have a little triangle here. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your um, red that is on your right side and you're going to go underneath all of your work. So you're going to go underneath all of your work and come right up the middle. So take the one on the right, go underneath, right up the middle. And then you have this loop right here that you went underneath on your right side. You're going to go down that loop. Take your red on the left side now. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to go underneath all of your work, right up the middle. And then you have this loop on your left side, right here. You're going to go down that loop. Next, I'm going to be working with the two green cords on my right side. So first you're going to want to find these two horizontal cords right here. So once you have these two horizontal um, Christmas light cords pulled up, what you're going to do is you're going to take your two green cords and you want, you're going to make a crisscross in those cords. So what I suggest is that you take that right cord and go over the left cord. And now take this left cord. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over and around these two horizontal cords. And if you pick up on these two horizontal cords, it does make it a little bit easier to work with. So you're going to take that green cord that is now on your right side after you do the crisscross. And you're just going to go over and around those two horizontal cords and you want to come up and be on the right side of your working cord. So here's the cord that I'm working with and it went right up the right side. Now you're going to take the green that is on the left that you did the crisscross with and you're just going to go around these two horizontal cords again but you're going to come out the left side so just go over and around those two and out the left side and now you're going to go on the left side of your work and you're going to work with the other two green cords and because I did the the right over the left when I did the crisscross on this side I'm going to do the left over the right so I'm going to take my left cord and I'm just going to go over my right cord and then I'm going to take the cord that is now on my left side and I'm going to go over those two horizontal cords and I'm going to come out the left side. So I'll be on the left side of my working cord. And now I'm going to take the cord that is on the right and I'm going to go over those two horizontal cords again and I'm just going to come back out the right side. So I'm on the right 
of my working cord. And last, I'm going to take my Christmas light cord. It's the bigger bundle now for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the one on the right and I'm going to go over those two horizontal cords and go out the right. So I'm going to go over and around and out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left. So go over and around and out the left. And now you can tighten it up. Okay, so once you have it tightened up, you can start from the very beginning of the weave. And it does take a little bit of maneuvering um, to make sure that all your cords are going the correct way. So I'm going to start again on my right side with the smaller bundle of Christmas lights. And I'm just going to go basically right up the middle again and then over that left cord. Now I'm going to take the cord, the Christmas light, on my left side, I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked, and I'm just going to go right up the middle again, and then over that second cord, which is on my right side. And then I have my little triangle here. Next, I'm going to take my red, and I'm going to go underneath all of my work and come right up to the middle. And then I have this loop right here on my right side. I'm going to go down that loop. I'm going to take the one on my left side now. I'm going to go right up the middle. So I'm going to go underneath, up the middle, and then down the loop that I have on my left side. And now we have your um, green, and I'm going to crisscross them again. And I'm going to do it the exact same way. I'm just going to take whatever cord is on my right, and I'm going to go over that left cord. And that's how I will do it all the way down on my right side. Now I'm going to take the cord on my right, which is the green, and I'm going to, first I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces to make it a little bit easier for myself. And now I'm going to take the green that is on my right, Remember, I'm going to go over and around and out my right. So I'm going to go over and around and out my right. Next, I'm going to take the one that's on the left, and I'm going to go over and around, but I'm going to come out the left side. So over and around and out the left side. And now I am on my left side of my work, and I'm going to crisscross them the same way. So I'm going to be taking the cord that is on my right side. And I'm going to go over the cord that is on my left. And I will do the same all the way down on my left side making this collar. I'm going to take the cord that is on my left now. And I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces and I'm going to go over and around and out my left side. Take the one on the left and I'm going to go over and around and out my left. And now for the top Christmas, Christmas lights, I'm going to take the one on my right side. Find those two horizontal pieces again, go over and around, out my right, take the one on my left, go over and around and out my left, and then tighten it up. So once you have it tightened up, you can start that weave right back from the beginning. So I'm going to start on my right side with the Christmas lights, and I'm going to go right up the middle again, and then over. Take the one on my left, go underneath the cord that I just worked, go right up the middle, and then over that second cord on my right. Take my red on the right, go underneath my work, right up the middle, and then down that loop on my right side. Take the one on my left, go underneath, right up the middle, and then down 
that loop on my left. I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces again and I'm going to pick up on them a little bit. I'm going to be working with the green on my right side. I'm going to take the cord on my right, go over the cord on my left, take that cord that's now on my right, go over those two horizontal pieces and around and out the right, take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left. Go on the right side of my work, take the right, sorry, go on the right side now, take the one on the left of the green, cross over the other green. Now take that green that's on your left side, find those two horizontal pieces, go over and around and out the left side. Take the one that's on the right now and go over and around and out the right. Take the larger bundle of Christmas lights that is on your right side and you're going to go over those two horizontal pieces again and around and out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left and then tighten it up. Alright, so I went one more weave down so you could see the um, the pattern that is forming. You can see how you have the crisscross on the sides with the green and um, the way they are going is the same on both sides and I, I'm i really liking this collar. I'm going to continue down and when I get to the end I will show you guys how I do the tie off and what it looks like with the adapter on. Um, I, I really am liking this collar. It's the first time that I've done um, with the 275 cord so far out from, I usually have it in the middle. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out and uh, I'll let you guys see it at the end. Alright guys, so I'm at the end of my collar and we can start weaving in the cords that are coming directly out of the top of your collar. And I'm going to be starting off with my two green on my right side. So I'm able to fit both of my cords in my needle. And what I'm going to do is you have a gap in between your work down here and these two cow's hitches. You're going to want to go in that gap with both greens on each side. Once you have both cords coming through on each side, you can uh, maneuver them so the um, form of the stitching on the side is the same. So you can loop one over the other, or pull one over the other I should say. The next cord that I'm going to be putting through is the Christmas lights cord that is in the middle of your collar and I'm going to be starting off with the one on the right. What you're going to want to do here is you have a small hole right in between these two cow's hitches. That's where you're going to put both of the Christmas light cords that are coming out of the middle of the collar on the top. And it should look something like that. Once you've gotten all this done, we can start to cut and burn. I do suggest you tightening up on all of the cords before you cut and burn them. I am going to start off on my side. And I'm going to about go about a quarter of an inch up. I'm going to fray them out.
I am going to melt each one at a one at a time, and then I'm going to use my um, butter knife to squish them down with. So I'm going to start with the red. Try not to let it catch on fire. I'm going to melt it and then squish it down. Next I'm going to do the Christmas light cord. And I'm going to squish that one down as well. Oops. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Once you have both sides done, we can start in the middle. And what I'm going to do is start with the green on my right side. I'll cut um, and burn them the same way I did on the side. And then I'll work my way over to the other side with the two green and then I will do the two in the middle. So I'm just going to cut them. Fray them out a little bit. I'm going to burn them at the same time because they're small. And then I'm going to squish it down. And I'll do the same for the rest of them. For the middle cords, the um, Christmas light cords, I did end up doing one at a time for those. So I just cut and burnt them one at a time. It made it a little bit easier because they're bigger than those green cords. Alright, so once you have gotten that taken care of, if you want to use your collar as it is, you can. You just hook up your adapter, whether it's leather or biothene. I am going to be using biothene. Um, Biothene comes in a lot of different colors if you're trying to match up the biothene to your collar. For me, what I like to do here is I like to put in um, some clear, non-foaming Gorilla Glue on the ends that I burnt and squashed down. I do this because I just wanted to have a little bit of extra security. Um, it's not coming out. my tip of my bottle doesn't seem to want to cooperate. I don't recommend you doing it this way. I, I do think that um, it comes out kind of fast this way. So I, I need to clean the tip of my bottle out. Anyways, um, I do this on all of my leashes and my collars. I just put a little bit on and I rub it all around. Make sure that nothing's going to come apart. Um, it's just, it's just extra security. I've never had any complaints. It is waterproof. And, uh, yeah. I just put it on those spots where I cut and burnt everything. And now I'm going to let it dry. And once it's dry, I'll let you guys see what the finished result looks like. 